Welcome to our Blues Licks Challenge. And in this course, I'm gonna be showing you five blues licks. Now, I'm hoping by this point, you've worked through some blues essential stuff. So some of my teachings when it comes to blues. And what you've done by doing that is you've laid a lot of great groundwork. You've really laid the idea of some of the, the kind of cage shapes mixed with the pentatonics, and you've laid the idea of kind of how to get some of these blues tonalities. And we've been through some solos and some chords and all these things. But what, what tends to get missed when you do something like that is just really solid, unbelievably good licks. You know, just, just really cool ideas that you can actually call upon in your blues improvisation. Because really, that's what we start to do as blues players. We start to properly dive into licks. The lick is your access to this little switch from major to minor, or that cool little note that you didn't think about playing, or perhaps that way of playing something, the way of phrasing it that you'd never considered. So with this course, I've decided to give you five of my absolute favorite blues licks, one in each position of the neck. So, as you have found, if you've been through my Blues Essentials, at least level one, then we've got the cage chords moving across the neck in the dominant positions. This divides the neck into five different places. And with each one of those places, we've got a pentatonic major and minor. Because I'm really gonna dive into the crossover of those two, okay? This isn't just like rock or soul or funk. This is, this is just pure blues, okay? It's the movement between the major and the minor, where to move them, how to move them in five different positions. So with each one of these licks, I'm gonna be first of all going through the lick with you as it's recorded, taking you through exactly how to play it and crucially how to find it, i.e. assigning it to a chord that you can move around. And then we're gonna do the work. We're gonna do the work to make sure that you can play it over different tracks. And we've got an example track in A, in C, and in D. So you get a nice variety of tracks, all completely different sounding. We've got the slow blues, we've got the jump blues, we've got a bizarre kind of shuffly blues thing. So all of these different vibes, we've got to take that same lick and play it over that. So it goes from being this kind of static idea of here's a lick, which you play in this key, in this timing, to something far more fluid, something more elegant, something that's got this kind of, um, this it's just an idea for you, like a seed of an idea that you can then create over your blues tracks and your blues soloing. So we really don't leave any stone unturned as we go through each of these licks. And as you learn them properly in this way, you can take your time. One lick, if you learn it well, you could be using this for the rest of your guitar playing career. I know I am. These are licks that I learned years back and I'm still using today and making them sound good, making them work, okay? They will adapt, they will evolve with your playing. So, when you're ready, let's go through one of these licks at a time, at a pace that suits you. And we're gonna go on a really cool blues lick journey together. Massive thank you from me and the rest of our wonderful tutors for watching this video. If you do wanna check out another video, another playlist, you can click right over here. Otherwise, if it feels like the right time for you and you're ready to give it a go, our Guitar Club link is right up here. You can get a 14-day free trial and you'll get access to our complete courses, our amazing community, and everything you need to properly upgrade and start loving the process of learning the guitar. I'll see you later.